All right, guys, so back over here at the garage, and as you can see, I went and picked up a bike, and I have it right behind me. It is a Swin Aluminum Comp Wendon's version. So before I, we go over it and how much I paid and all that, if you haven't, please subscribe, turn the notification bell on, give it a like, all that good stuff. If you want to support the channel, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can check the affiliate links in the description below. Different ways for you to support the channel if you're interested in doing so. Other than that, let's get right into it. So, I was on a Facebook Marketplace yesterday, as always, you know, for reason and whatever reason and whatnot. And I came across this Swin Aluminum Cup women's bike. And as you know, I sold my wife's Polygon Cascade 4 about a month ago or so. And I wanted to replace that bike with something different, uh, more affordable because she doesn't ride that much. And we went to Walmart the other day and she got on top of this bike and did the stand over height and she felt comfortable. She's not a big fan of the color, but we talk about a little more about that in a little bit. So, uh, long story short, as you know, I'm a realtor. I had some showings today on downtown Houston. By the way, if you're in the market to buy in a house, sell a house in Texas, let me know. I'm your guy, I hook you up. Uh, you can check alexhoustonrealestate.com and uh, you can find over 20, 40,000 properties in there. So make sure you check that out. All right, back to the story. I finished up my showing today and I had arranged with a guy that I was gonna go pick up this bike. Uh, the location was like around 47 miles away from my house. No big deal because of the price. Before we talk about the price, let's look at this bike really, uh, real closely, real quick. So when I saw the pictures on Facebook Marketplace, I kind of deducted that this is an outside bag that has been on the outdoors because you can tell over here by the chain, it's completely, rust, completely rusted out. And uh, let's go over the components real, real quick. This is a three by seven setup. This is an aluminum 6061 frame. It's a hardtail from Pacific Cycle, of course. And then you got the bottle holders, your uh, cable routings and all that. So it's, it's pretty convenient for the front derailleur right here. It's no brand front derailleur. At the rear, we have a micro shift 26C. And this is a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It's three by seven setup. Then over here, we have the micro shift with the window. And it just says one and seven the brake levers and there this is a magnet so the, my concerns right here is this yeah that's steel the handlebar is steel no big deal the stem is aluminum or magnesium whatever i don't know if he changed the stem or not because it's gold it's not a big deal again and this probably got i don't i don't know i mean this being an outdoor bike and then up the front you have a Micro shift as well, three by one. This is for the front derailleur. This right here is burned out because of the sun. Then you have the aluminum levers. I think he replaced these grips. These grips doesn't seem to be the original ones. And again, no big deal. And then we have the fork over here and swing 27.5 fork. And then we have the swing branded uh, rotors, 160 up front, most likely the same thing at the rear. And if we notice, this is something that I didn't know, but when I picked it up, I noticed that it was missing a bolt for the uh, axle right here. Again, no big deal. Also 160 rear brakes. Good thing is that none of these rays are rusted out. You know, the, the wheels are aluminum, so that's a good thing and the rays are not but the spokes are not but that's okay seat post is metal with a quick release clamp and he has this ugly but i'm pretty sure it's gonna be very comfortable saddle that i'm obviously not gonna keep so this is the main reason that i wanted this bike is because of course 
the taper headset and this is a real taper over here you still have your 170 cranks and these are not metal might be aluminum and are they 170 not sure can really tell it doesn't matter again it really doesn't matter the tires are in good shape seem to be the original ones and uh seems to be pretty much dead stock except for the saddle and the grips it's turning freely i don't know if this one comes with quick release from factory or not and if uh some of you know let me know it'd be interesting to know although again it does not really matter at all now this bike is currently selling at Walmart for, I believe, 268. Let me verify that. 268. And I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below if you're inter interested in this bike. I'll leave an affiliate link in the description below. And like I said, with my wife got a got on top of it, stand over height. She liked the, the size and all that. So that's why we went with this. And let me measure, let me go ahead and measure this uh bike size. So to measure the frame size, you go from the middle of the bottom bracket to the top of the seat tube, and this is 16 and a half. And I guess 16 and a half is between small, medium. I think this is a small, medium frame, something like that, more towards the small, medium. She liked it. She's happy with it. So let's let's talk about this bike for a second. Now, I kept on saying it really doesn't matter. I mean, I was going to buy this bike anyway at Walmart full price, 268 plus taxes which was gonna put it close to $300, okay? And my plan was to, my plan is to upgrade this bike a little bit, at least make it a one buy, uh, put in another fork, and then a new handlebar, grips, you know, contact points, just the basics, nothing too crazy because it's not gonna get within too much. My son might even get a use of it in a, in a couple of years, maybe next year or something, but We'll, we'll see. I mean, I already have a lot of parts for this bike, regardless. So that's why I kept on saying it doesn't matter. I have a, this one, as you know, is a free wheel, not a cassette. And I already have a wheel set, cassette compatible, right there. The one that I actually took off. It's right there. Right there. The one that I took off from the Mongoose Blackham, the 275. It already has tires and everything, so that's just a right-on swap. I already have a fork that I haven't even opened a box for, and I also have another fork, but for that other, for that other fork, I need a, uh, either a boost or a um, 15 millimeter through axle, not necessarily boost, Recommend um, better if it's boost enough, I, can, I have to get the adapter. So we'll see about that uh what direction i'm gonna go with this i don't know but i know that i'm gonna be changing a lot of these things anyway so to get this bike for this price stay tuned i haven't set the price yet it was a no-brainer because now let's talk about the price how much did i pay for this thing you're not gonna believe it's almost brand new again it's just it's just been sitting on the elements uh, a little bit of rust which was gonna get replaced anyway the frame is aluminum i was gonna take it apart re it, change the bottom bracket whatever i needed to do i was gonna do it regardless if it was new or used in this case used way better because i only paid a -da -da, hundred dollars for this thing yep it was one of those rare finds that you had just had to get the advantage of it and go ahead and pick it up right away. I paid hundred dollars. The guys told me price is firm. I'm like, that's fine. I just want to go pick it up. So after I finished my showing today, I went to Memorial Park and rode my uh, Polygon Cisco T8 for like four miles or something like that. I have a video about that it's coming up. Stay tuned. I link it if it already came out and it was just a quick short ride. And then I went to pick up this bike. A lot of updates for this bike coming up. If you wanna stay tuned about those updates, what route I'm gonna take. Again, I already have Holotech bottom brackets ready to go. I already have wheel sets. I already have tires. I already have forks. I already have hydraulic. I have everything for this bike. Just ready to, to go. So other than that, 
If you want to see what's coming up on this bike, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and turn the notification bell on so you stay up to date with this build. And uh, that is going to be it for today. If you want to support the channel, please check the affiliate links in the description below. You can do it uh, all different ways. Uh, different ways you can support the channel. And that's it. Again, if you're in the Houston area and you're interested in buying a house, let me know. I can hook you up. I know many different things that a lot of people don't know. So hit me up. Again, my website is alexhoustonrealestate.com. Check it out. That's it for today. See you on the trails. Goodbye.